Welcome to Pont Neuf Studio. My name is Kristen and today I will be showing you how to make this keychain wristlet. You will need cotton worsted weight yarn, a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, scissors, and a D swivel clasp. To start, you're going to make your slip knot and chain five. I do have video tutorials on how to do the slip knot and chain that I will link in the description below. Once you've made your five chains, do not turn. Insert your hook into the second chain from your hook. And you're going to do one single crochet in each chain stitch for a total of four single crochet. Once you get to the end of your row, chain one and turn. The pattern for this will be linked below in the description. For this row, your very first stitch will be a modified bobble stitch. Your next stitch will be a single crochet, then another modified bobble stitch, and another single crochet. To complete your modified bobble stitch, you will be creating three unfinished double crochets and then pulling through four loops rather than the typical five unfinished double crochets and pulling through six loops. Single crochet into the next stitch. The next stitch is a modified bobble again, so we'll go through this one slowly. Yarn over, insert your hook under the front and back loop of the V, yarn over again, and pull through. You now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first and second loop, leaving the third one on your hook. We are not going to finish the double crochet and pull through those at this time. We're going to yarn over and do the same thing again. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. We now have four loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. You now have three loops on your hook. We're going to do one more unfinished double crochet. So yarn over, pull through, you now have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two, so you have four remaining. And we're going to finish off the stitch by yarning over and pulling through all four loops. As you can see, we are at the end of the row and we are going to single crochet into that last stitch. Chain one and turn. We're going to repeat this now for a total of 35 rows where we do a row of single crochets and then another row with our modified bobble stitches. Pause your video here and I'll meet you back when you've completed all of your rows. Once your 35 rows are complete, your strap should be about 10 and a half inches long. Your last row should be a row of single crochets. Fold your strap in half, 
and we are now going to single crochet the two together with a total of four stitches. You're going to single crochet through the chain and underneath the front and back loops of your last row. chain one and turn and we are going to make seven more rows for a total of eight single crocheted rows including our very first one where we single crocheted the top and bottom together pause this video and meet me back when you're finished with your eighth row Finish off leaving about an 8 inch tail for sewing. We will now be adding our 1 inch D hook swivel clasp to turn our project into a keychain. Thread your yarn with your darning needle, add your clasp, fold the top in half, and we are now going to sew the top and bottom together. I like to go back and forth twice for a total of about 8 sewn stitches. Once your stitches are finished, it's time to weave in your tail and trim the end. Your project is all finished. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials. Thank you.